I hope y'all are well. Um, I wrote a long post um, that I'm going to read out loud, but I hope this finds you inspiration, maybe motivation, or just feel heard and connected. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to read it. And hi, I'm Anna Marie, a Filipina um, aspiring content creator who is just now taking the leap of faith and is excited for the self-love, self-care journey and a big risk in my career life. So yeah, so I wrote this. Whether you work a nine to five, you're an entrepreneur, a content creator, a student, or you're just successful at your craft, or anything you do that you feel like you reached something. Um, just know that taking care of yourself is the most important thing. And this is true. Um, a friend recently asked how I was doing because they saw my post of like how sad I was, my mental health, and I wasn't physically well either. Um, I told them I didn't feel like myself. I feel like I lost my a part of myself. I lost my authentic self and I didn't know who I was anymore. Um, and this is due to people pleasing. Um, and I didn't realize I was still doing it. I thought I got over it. But basically, I did X, Y, and Z to get from point A to B. I applied here, thought I was finally going to be financially free, make the money, be happy. But in truth, what success means to me now is taking care of my health and genuine happiness. Um, because for a long time, I was in a very unhealthy, productive, and seeing success in a different scope, no matter what I did in life. Um, sure. I studied what I love, I did media communications, um, and I also did some theater classes as well, but behind the scenes, a lot of people didn't see that during college I was actually struggling a lot, um, just the system, the hustle culture, my mental and physical health, it's talked about more, especially during COVID. Um, which I'm glad it's being talked about more, but, um, even post-pandemic and pre-pandemic, I was not well. Um, COVID was obviously, like, breaking point, too. Um, and I'm reading off my notes, by the way, and just seeing what I want. Um, every day I struggled. Um, I even struggled post-grad, and post-grad is the most confusing time. I was like, oh my god, I'm finally free from this. I thought, I'm finally free from, like, all this struggle and stuff. No, it just gets harder. It gets harder as an adult. Um, and it's not talked about as much. Um, if anything, I quit three jobs within a year. Not even a year. Um, cause I graduated in May of last year, uh, and most recently too, um, because it was just unhealthy productivity expectations, um, and I wasn't doing well, both performantly, um, and I wasn't taking care of myself, even if I tried on some days, um, for who don't know, I struggle but I also thrive, I say that too, with bipolar disorder, anxiety, and OCD. They're both professionally diagnosed and I am medicated and have a therapist. Um, I say I struggle, but I also thrive. Um, some days I'm at my lowest, sometimes I'm in between, and sometimes I, I feel like I'm on top of the world and I'm super confident. Um, you can do more research on bipolar disorder or I'll do another video on that. Um, but I was just so tired of the hustle culture and this race to the top uh, to get better and improve performatively 
um, in the career life, the workforce, no matter if I did a nine to five or an entrepreneur, or even if as a student, like I was just trying to do more and more and more, go, go, go. I took some days off, I took breaks, but I never took a full pause. Um, I've taken a semester off before, I've taken weekends off, I've taken mental health days, but I never took a time to actually pause and really reflect because I feel like I'm doing the same pattern, getting the same results every single time where my health isn't doing so great. It's just a roller coaster of ups and downs. And although life is going to be ups and downs, I just feel like I was just living the same role over and over and not learning a new lesson of like what it means to actually take care of myself and way I approach success and productivity. Um, I want to note something before I mention this other part because I wrote versely, but the past few days, um, after leaving my job, I've been much healthier, much happier. I have support for my family, my husband, my Filipino community, um, professors, and some colleagues um, from college who believe in me. They have seen me suffer, they have seen me fall, but they've also seen me get back up every single time. I'm doing so much better and I'm still on this journey of taking care of myself and my mental health. Um, it will forever be a journey, not a destination. Um, but three years ago, I was like um, SI and I didn't have the same thoughts, but my mental health was really bad, like where I was really depressed recently until I got back up and like took care of myself and left the place that didn't serve me anymore. So I'm doing much better. I want to note that. Um, but it hurts to hit rock bottom again and but it's also like I feel like when I was praying in the car and I was mentally breaking down like I'd st I was hanging out with friends and I stepped away went in the car and I just like broke down and I just started praying um because I also haven't been praying recently until now um and it helped God gave me an answer he gave me strength he gave me confidence um he just made me feel very rejuvenated and I felt very hurt because that's what I need. I need healing. I need um, love from God. I need self-love. I need love from my family. And luckily, a lot of my family, um, especially, I mean, friends and my husband, of course, they're going to support me, but family is kind of hard because they always have like high expectations of your Career life, we're actually very supportive, just being happy and healthy, and I was very grateful for that. So, in the end of my post, I said what I've been doing now. Um, I'm approaching productivity and success in a more healthier way. Um, I'm praying more um, because God gave me light throughout my whole journey. Um, my dream is to be a content creator. But I still need to find like a part time slash remote so I can still make some income. Um, just something not as intense as my previous job. Um, and I'm also, I work in a non paid Filipino internship. And that's my community, that's my healing space. It makes me so happy to be part of it. Um, and I hope to run for executive board on that. Um, and finally, I um, applied to some content creator programs and going to alumni career services, support for mentors from college, just doing my research, you know, not only just taking care of myself and my health, but also like still creating and planning, doing some research of like how I can sustain a career life too. Um, but then the day, like I said in the beginning, um, it's important to take care of yourself first. Um, I'm 23 years old, and God has a plan for me, and he knows that there's so much for me in store. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all then. Bye.